Welcome to Fairview Riverside State Park, home to the Otis House Museum and 99 acres of recreational land where you can hike, fish, camp, and much more. The historic Otis House Museum, built not long after the Civil War, represents generations of folks who call St. Tammany Parish home. It was once the site of a thriving timber industry and a sawmill along the Chifuncta River. It offers a glimpse into how the surrounding areas and the South as a whole came to be. Upon the conclusion of the Civil War, William J. moved to St. Tammany Parish with the intention of starting a lumber company. His original share of 400 acres soon grew to over 30,000 acres of timberland. So it's the reconstruction period. Everything is being rebuilt. Timber industry was a huge industry and there was a huge impact in the area simply by the processing of the lumber right here on the Chifuncta River. As Jay found success, he built a classic Victorian era style home. The architecture is considered Queen Anne, which was a popular architecture in the late Victorian era. Queen Anne architecture would feature porches that went almost all the way around the house as porch that we're sitting on. There was no electricity in those days, so the houses were designed to self-cool. Having a porch shades the air before it enters the house. Typically, there would be shade trees all around the house, which is also helping to cool the air before it enters the house. This house faces the river. There's usually a breeze that comes in off of the waterway, so it flushes the hot air out, brings cooler air into the house for the family. The house serves as a time capsule with historic furniture and artifacts spanning over 70 years. Fire extinguishers date to the 1870s. They're called Hayward hand grenades. Well, these Hayward hand grenades are glass balls filled with a liquid. It's a chemical, uh, it's carbon tetrachloride. So this carbon tetrachloride absorbs oxygen. Well, as you go through the house, you get a, a timeline of not just the furnishings and the history that go behind it, but it's a timeline of how furniture changed, uh, how cooking changed. Frank Otis, the last owner of the Otis House, donated the house and 99 acres to the state of Louisiana, hoping to establish a park for people to enjoy the natural beauty of the area. Fairview Riverside State Park showcases the unique and natural assets Louisiana has to offer, where you can take a walk through 30 acres of swampland or take a stroll down a boardwalk that forms the Chifuncta River. Since the park is framed by water, fishing is a common activity visitors indulge in. With the easy access to waterways, the Chifuncta River is used for many water sports, such as boating, jet skiing, and much more. And after a long day of all these diverse activities this park has to offer, the park is equipped for visitors to camp the night. Thank you for joining us on our visit to the aesthetically pleasing Fairview Riverside State Park. In the end, one can see that we don't need to look far for beautiful scenery because it's right here in our own backyard.